fans are coming home. They're coming home. Yes, that's right. Today, fans are back at the People's Pension Stadium, but it's a new look People's Pension Stadium. So we have got General Manager Tom Ullman, who's going to talk us through uh, how it's going to work, what, what, what the stadium looks like now, so when fans get here, you know exactly what to expect. Tom, let's go. Hello, yes. <laughs> so, as you can see, we're down the north end of the car park. Um, this will be what fans will be greeted with upon arrival. Um, as we put out in the match day guide that's on the website, everyone uh, on their ticket will either have a north or a south entrance. So obviously being down in the north end of the car park, this is the north entrance. Um, so we've got four channels of entry, obviously one, two, three, four. Um, there'll be a turnstile operator on each one of these channels. Um, for today, for the Barrow game, obviously it's season ticket holders only. So we'll be scanning your card, your normal season ticket card as per usual. Uh, these two red gates will then be open, as we'll show you shortly. Uh, and then, yeah, you're into the stadium. So this north end serves um, for today, again, uh, just this half of the east, the north side of the east stand. Um, but then going forwards, we'll serve, we'll continue to serve the east stand, the north terrace, uh, and part of the west stand. So, so, so effectively, the turnstiles have been moved out rather than being on the red gates where they normally would. Yeah. This is effectively the turnstiles now, isn't it? Yes. Um, you, and then you walk straight through. Yeah, so because of all the social distancing that we've had to, we've had to do, we've basically had to expand the concourse. Um, as fans, Crawley fans will know, we effectively don't really have a concourse on a match day. Um, so yeah, by putting in the fencing and, and effectively bringing that out into the car park, it means we can hold more people and, and get more fans in. Yes, and, and obviously here we have the luxury portaloo, as you can see. There you go, oh. lovely. Yes, yeah, great facilities in there. <laughs> Even has a flusher. Very nice, very nice. And uh, moving swiftly from portaloos to catering. Tom, tell us about the, the plans for catering. Yeah, so as you will demonstrate by opening the gates, we've got two catering pods. Um, again, one in the north stand, one in the east uh, in the south stand. Sorry. Um, and yeah, to start with, <laughs> to start with, we'll be having a fairly limited menu. Um, again, there's a lot of clubs up and down the football league that aren't doing catering, but we wanted to, as we've alluded to a few times, you know, have a sort of a bit of a seamless transition into people's getting coming back into their match day. So yeah, we'll be able to pick up a sausage roll. I think we've got some soup and some nachos going on, and yeah, your normal. Kit Kat and Bovril, so <laughs> yeah, you staple for a match day. And then here, the high class, top of the range sanitizer station. Yep, so we've got the sanitizing station all ready to go. Uh, we've got six of these at points around the ground. So we've got one here at the north stand. Uh, we've got four going across the west at the, the, uh, the two different entry points down there. And then uh, another one just outside Reds Bar, which will serve the, the south terrace. So uh, yeah. And then obviously once, uh, once they're in the ground, um, this would normally, no, fans don't normally come in there, home fans don't normally come in this entrance, this is yep. normally if you're away fans, but the KRL, KRL stand is, is closed, isn't it, today? Uh, as Close is to the, the structured communication stand, it's seating only for, for today. Is that just for today or is that Tuesday? That's just for today, yeah, so because it's season ticket holders only today, um, and yeah, because it's a, a test event effectively for us, um, we're testing out the seating plans that, we're, that we've got in place and that Kay's been working really hard on during the week so, so fantastic so, so today season ticket holders everyone will be in the seats yeah. um, but then from Tuesday the terraces will be back open as correct well. yeah fantastic um, should we go on the other side yeah so now over in the west side of the uh, stadium obviously another another sanitizing station uh, and we've got these these fences out here with Tom Floor yeah. make the stadium a little bit bigger again yeah so down here uh, this is all the fencing been put in place for the toilet queuing so you've obviously got your toilets either side here um, again, as you've just seen from the walkthrough, there's not a lot of queuing space there, so this fencing is basically brought out so that, if necessary, people can queue right the way around uh, and keep socially distant. And of course, throughout the afternoon, uh, our, our expert stewards here will be, will be giving people advice and, and information as they make their way with a smile, won't we, lads? Always. Always, Always. lovely. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> okay. So here, over on our left, we have, of course, the red wall, which we, we passed now, only 20 pounds for a plaque. So uh, do go onto the club website, grab yourselves off of there. Sorry, Tom. Hi hijack the tour of the ground for the sales plug. Now, Travel Ken will be pleased. He's got his, uh, he's got his sticky ready for, isn't he, for, for a Monday morning. That's his first job. <laughs> and then obviously the same as, um, exactly the same as up the other end, isn't it? It's the, the queue splits into two sections and then into four. Correct, yeah. So this is the, uh, the south entrance. Um, so again, uh, for the purpose of today, this will serve the south end of the west stand and the south end of the east stand. 
but then obviously going forward, uh, coming into the Tuesday game and just going forward there on in, it will obviously serve the, the South Terrace as well. So, so today, no one will come into these turnstiles as they as they normally would for the, the terrace. These turnstiles are shut today, are they? So these are open today. Okay. Um, and the, the the terrace will be used as a flow, basically, so you can enter the both sides of the ground this end and just walk through. Okay, fantastic. Uh, now, ticket collections. Obviously, our ticket collection point is now effectively sort of inside the ground. Yeah. Talk us through how people can collect their tickets. Yep. So if you're collecting today, um, basically, the other side of the fence is a walkway. Uh, there's a signage down there with the, the lovely gentleman which will be able to direct you the other side and yeah back down to the this is the ticket collection cabin uh, as per usual so that's if you're picking up your season ticket card if you haven't yet done that uh, and equally if you're picking up your, your social bubble tickets so yeah collecting tickets ticket collection cabin and obviously people have to pre-book for for reds yeah. if, if people are in the north stand can, uh, to, to, to enter it in the, into the, the north end of the stadium are they able to get into into reds yeah so if you've booked um it doesn't matter where you're sat you can come in that south entrance they'll have your name on the list and yeah you'll be brought in um, the legislation has changed in the last few days um surrounding serving alcohol at football clubs um, so Rona will be doing walk-ups as well so if there's any space um, walk up and you'll have to submit obviously your full your full track and trace details and sanitize and have your mask on but yeah uh, walk-ups will be available as well and, and are we serving ballers in there today ballers is available on there yeah uh, again slightly scale back menu just for for ease of getting things done but yeah ballers will be available in there um, so yeah pre-match if you booked south stand uh, if not walk up um, open pre-match closed at half time for today but then she will be open up post-match as well fantastic So obviously, um, as, as I said, same as the other end, these now are not being used as turnstiles effectively because the yeah. turnstile, people would have got in, used their ticket to get in uh, yeah. around the corner. So people will come straight in here, obviously can use the facilities once again. Um, and then as people come around into the ground, obviously, once again, the, te the terrace is shut. In terms of uh, these toilets, they're out of action, are they today? So these toilets are out of action, yep. Yeah. So port loos will, will be in action, the, the facilities as you... The, the facilities. Describe them, the facilities, yes. Yeah, it's, uh, they're out of action because of the ease of getting in and out, not because Ken's been in there. Um, <laughs> no bobbing down. <laughs> <laughs> and then into the east end, there's a slightly different way of getting in and out of seats, is that right? Correct, yeah. So there, there might be a few instances for people, for example, if you are sat in this seat down here on the front row, um, you might have you will have to walk past your seat and come back on yourself. So again, it's all to do with the flow, directional flow of people moving around the ground. Um, so these two, Effectively, the first two sort of um, stairways are going to be exits uh, and the far two in this half will be entrances. So, for example, yeah, if you are sat down here, you'll have to walk up to just shy of block E, up, and then there'll be lateral gangways in the east stand, which means, yeah, you basically then walk back on yourself and file down. So, just avoid crossing over uh, on the I assume stairwell. we'll have stewards here saying... Again, yeah, we're, going. we're going to have plenty of stewards around. Um, their, their job roles have, have slightly changed on a match day there. They're obviously still you know fundamentally here for for everyone's safety but obviously with all the the regulations and, and bits and bobs that people might be a bit confused with they're, they're going to be here to help so yeah if you're if there's any confusion please uh, please do speak with the stewarding team so obviously lots of changes here at the people's pension stadium today a few things that don't change the pitch is looking immaculate great work by complete turf care uh, fantastic work on the pitch and the fans will obviously get to see that hopefully good quality on it today as well uh, any other changes you can think of tom i think that's it i think we're uh we're finally there, it's been a long week, but everyone's really bought into it and everyone's mucked in. And yeah, it's brilliant to be able to welcome fans back. Obviously, season to go is only today, but yeah, whole hog from, from Tuesday. And yeah, brilliant. Yeah, great, brilliant. great work by Tom and, and, and Chris in particular, and Katie obviously selling, selling a lot of tickets under difficult circumstances as well. So great work by everyone to get the stadium back on running. We hope you enjoy being back here in the stadium. Fingers crossed the Reds will get three points. Whether you're here today as a season ticket holder, whether you're here on Tuesday, we cannot wait to see you. So, come on, you Reds. Come on, you Reds. <laughs>